Today I'm going to work specifically on prepping the bathroom for our first layer of mud. Our goal is to actually do a little bit of concrete work today, which is exciting. So we want 90 degree angles here because this uh, we want the, the wall to mortar on top of the floor. So I want to get all of this wood cut out, all this insulation cut out, all the way around. And then the next thing is I want to add inch and a half pieces here, here, one that goes across, one here, one down here. And that'll make it so that they, we can attach this hardy board to the outside of it, which will give us all the strength that we need. And it'll also provide conduit spacing for the pipes and everything that goes behind it. What are you doing right now, babe? Because our shower is going to have uh, electrical floor heat, I need to run this wire so that it gets into the shower. Cool, and this is and the so wire it's going here. through here. We're gonna bury all this wire in our second layer of deck mud, and it's gonna be like three inches apart, so it's gonna wrap like this all around in the shower. And that way when we're hooked up to shore power, we can turn the thermostat on, and the bathroom will warm up. This will be under tile. We are currently fixing up our wires. It ended up being a very, very big job. All our wires and everything were kind of messed up and we were... And in order for us to start doing the bathroom, we want to make, make the plumbing pipes all like secured down. Right, and so these are the plumbing pli pipes, this one here and this one here. Right. I want to anchor down the pipes so that they stay in place so that we can mount the, uh, the mixing valve. To mix the mounting valve, we needed to get the pipes in the right spot. Right. And to get the pipes in the right spot, we needed to get the wires in the right spot. And to get the wires in the right spot, we need, needed to rebuild the whole battery compartment. Wire everything to where it'll look, to where it's organized and serviceable. <laughs> we're doing right now. Tidying up wires. Oh, so much fun. So that one there, you're running from the light to the fuse box, right? Right. And that has to go down underneath the fridge? Yeah, because the, the fuse box that needs to run across the, across the vehicle. And then this guy will run from the switch to the light. That's a little bit smaller. <laughs> you want to drop the other one under the fridge? When Meta Spencer did his electrical video on his prison bus, he ran all his 12 volts and his all his 120 volt before he's done anything else with the construction. And I'm like, wow, Meta Spencer's a lot smarter than me. <laughs> I'm really thankful that Ian is great at reading instructions. I am terrible at reading instructions. I just don't have the patience, but Ian does. Ian is the man. <laughs> Reading more instructions. This well. Really this one, but I don't First time you've done this. Yeah. First time for everything. Yeah, but the battery's on this side and Let's then. Yeah. You think that's better than the other side? Oh, I don't know. I just feel like that for some reason. I don't know. Okay. 
I think it's very close. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Left hand. Get it, baby. getting mud in there and but while I was prepping mud in the, the bathroom space, yeah the mud to, to build up the sides of the bathroom so we would have a really cool bathroom but while I was building up the space I realized that there was a lot of prep needed to be done for the electrical and the uh, uh, the plumbing because we had never secured the plumbing the supply plumbing that we had uh, installed a while ago and so that actually took a little bit longer and I was able to frame up the wall so we made a lot of progress but we still didn't quite get the mud in the in the bathroom like we wanted to but also you did re-engineer the battery sled oh that's right that was a big job yes so now the battery is pretty much what 90 percent done 90 percent done that yeah. that whole project yeah the battery bank's done uh-huh there's some little finishing touches to be done but oh yeah i want to make like a little um black plastic sleeve over it and then I, I want to build it up on the front so that it sits in there really well. Thank you guys for watching. We didn't really get as much done as we wanted That's to. all we have to say about that. Uh, <laughs> another day, another bus conversion video. Oh, yeah. Oh, ow. What did you just do? <laughs> did your helmet fall off?